Hey guys, thanks for joining me in my lab. Before we start, I need to tell you a word or two about our sponsor, PCB Way, where you can get 10 PCBs for just $5. You can watch the progress of the manufacturing and shipping. And if you are new customers, your first order is free. Check them out. As I said in the previous video, next is to fix this, so that I don't have to keep on filing it. So let's get our caliper. So we want to measure that gap right there and compare it to the actual LED. Make sure it's zero. In the middle of the right side and the middle of the left side. Four point six three. I'll do it again on the same hole. Make sure it's not just a loop. Point six seven. I better be writing this down. I won't remember. Four point six three. Four point six seven. One of you noticed that there's a curve there, so I need to make sure that I'm not measuring that inside curve. I need to measure up here, not down there, because there's a curve down there. <laughs> Kept on getting bigger. Four point six nine. Four point six nine again. Okay, we did it four times, so the average is four point six seven. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna pick a different piece. Four point six eight. Oh my God, this is bigger. Is it four point seven three? No, four point six five. 4.67 yeah 4.67 sounds pretty good then 4.67 yep 4.73 4.76 holy cow look at this 4.76 4.76 is how much bigger Wow, it's only 0 0.09. That's not even 0 0.1 millimeter difference, so that's fine. So now, what is the LED dimension? 4.92. Again. 4.93. No wonder it doesn't fit. And one again. I look like probably nine two is the average. I've been filing some more. It never ends. Yeah, that's pretty good. I may have made this one too big, but that's why we're doing this. Because then I won't have to do this by hand once we fix the PC. Yeah, this is too loose thing but yeah it falls right out this is too loose i guess it's good to have one to lose so that we could see we could say in the model that we do not want it to be that big okay, so that's one that's too loose yep 4.95 that's why it's too loose which is exactly yeah, well 4.96 which is uh, actually the actual value that needs to be but we want to have some slop here yeah Three, I remeasure it and it's 4.96 or 4.95 and so that is actually the exact number that we want but because it is the exact number there's no slop in there so it fits perfectly and it doesn't even fall but it will come out if I try to solder it yeah it's not staying too well so we don't want it to be 4.95 we want it to be less than 4.95 so let's see what the other ones are. Let's do this middle one. 4.83. 4.91. 4.92. 4.93. 4.94. 4.95. 4.96. 4.97. 4.98. 4.99. 4.99. 4.99. 4.99. 4.99. 4.99. 4.99. 4.99. 4.99. 4.99. 4.99. 
I made for I think it's between 4.85 to 4.9 okay so I put in all the values we've been measuring into this spreadsheet here so this is the actual LED that we measure 4.915 is the average the PCB gap is average to 4.67 and that is 0.245 too small for the actual LED and then this is the same number as that one over there but this is after we file it it averaged out to be 4.87 and that actually is still too small by 0.04 <laughs> millimeter that's amazing I think what we want is basically make it 0.2 millimeter bigger than it was before on the PCB and to explain these numbers I have to step back and explain how I built the PCB so let's uh, do that oh man where should I start <laughs> I guess I probably start with the single LEDs so let me turn off all these and I started with this single LED right here I don't know why it's so dark I googled the new pixel look at the pinouts and there is also the dimension somewhere right here so I got all the dimensions and from here basically I made a 3d model in fusion 360 once I got that then I built everything based on this one thing and I started making the arc so from that one LED I built this uh, PCB profile right here and oh this is a cool thing about fusion 360 everything is parametric so I put in all the values that I measure of the LED how wide it is uh, how high it is what is it with with or without pads these pads here are actually thicker so that one is 5.4 from here to here but it's only five if you don't count these little pad things here and our PCB is going to be right here in the middle so we don't want that so I have a variable without pads and there is my mistake right there remember the 0.467 that's coming from this 4.7 so let me go back to the spreadsheet so this 4.692 came from that 4.67 and it's just probably a round of error because if we measure right here from here to here that's exactly 4.7 but once we start rotating it I think there's some slop in here so from that surface to that surface yeah we lost 0 0.008 yeah 0 0.008 millimeter so once we got here then I just basically export that the outline of what fusion generated so to do that yeah, let, let's fix that number and it will actually export it okay so this is what we specify in fusion 360 and this is the 0 0.08 loss due to transformation when we rotate it I'll cover this uh, soon basically there's I do not see any loss between fusion and KiCad so the export from here the import into here is perfectly accurate and as we saw in real life when we measure the PCB this is actually smaller than what I specify in KiCad by 0 0.022 so we had two losses once when we rotated and another one when we actually manufactured this I suspect it's because of the thickness of the CNC bit which I never specify so at any rate I'm not going to care I'm just going to replicate that and make the correction so instead of 4.7 I'm going to specify it such that way by the time we're, we're down to here to the actual PCB it'll be what we want this is the one I measure after uh, I filed it so that's the number we want the first thing we need to do is we take that number and then we need to add the first loss this 22 because you know the actual PCB is actually smaller than the KiCad set so we are not, we want to add that and then due to that rotation thing we also want to add this one the 0 0.08 so by the time we're done we have 4.905 so that's the number we want to put in in Fusion and then Fusion is going to take 0 0.08 when we rotate KiCad is going to replicate accurately and we're gonna lose another 0 0.02 and we get exactly what we want <laughs> at least that's the hope 
Okay, so here's our height without the pads. I'm just gonna tab out and let it recompute everything. Let's see what that looks like. So we could verify that this is not gonna be 4.905, it'll be a little smaller. 896. Okay, let's export this. SDXF. So I'm gonna call this PCB Arc 2. Okay, this yellow lines is the edge cut. That's the one we're gonna replace with our new one because this one is still the old one, which should be, what is the length? 4.692, that's too short. So I'm gonna change this. I think I'm gonna erase this and then I'm gonna replace it. Rather than trying to figure out which lines are new and which ones are old, I'm just gonna delete them. So I'm gonna delete that, I'm gonna replace it with a new one. I'm gonna import it from wherever we had saved it before. This be arc two. Gonna put it into the edge cut layer to replace the one, and we'll take everything as as it, as it is. Okay, it puts it in a different location, but that's okay. Okay, let's uh, show this again. So we're gonna move this. M for move. Why isn't it moving? Oh, it's not selected. It looks like it's selected because it's yellow. So M for move. I'm gonna line it up with this guy the best I can. And originally I was really worried about lining this up perfectly, but it really uh, doesn't matter much because we are moving this like 0 0.001 millimeter. So what I'm trying to do is line up this bottom right corner here where the you know right here this is what I'm trying to line up and then everything else we're gonna adjust later and like this fill we can recalculate this very easily by just pressing a key so that's lined up down there let's see what it look like up there hmm, that's a little higher that's okay again like I said I mean this is 0 0.2 millimeter right here so this is what we're playing with here what really matters, of course, is this distance. So that line now is 4.896, which is what we expect, right? So let's go to the part editor. I wonder if we could just make it wider in there because it's pretty simple. Unlike these curves, which is really hard to fix, the uh, the pad will be fairly easy to, uh, to fix, I think, because we just have to make it a little wider. LED4, you can see how many times I tried doing this. Okay, so how wide is this line? So this is front silk, I think. Yep. That is, oh no, that one is 4.7. So we don't want it to be 4.7. How much do we want it to get? 4.8. Uh, I already forget. That's why I don't to write things down. So we want it to be not 4.7. We want it to be 4.9 I'm just going to call it 4.9 there so edit that line wow it's half and half okay I need a calculator 4.9 divided by 2 2 4 5 4 5 4 5 so now it's like that so I need to move this also by this that distance. Okay, so there's a this there's two layers here. So there's the top one, and there's the okay. I need to erase. Okay, these are all the different layers. I'm just gonna hide everything. Hide all layers. We're just gonna work with the front layer first. So this is the front copper. So let's move this. Edit. So make that more negative okay and then edit this one too make that more positive okay and then move this line too i wonder if we could just drag those lines instead of typing them no, the grid is much bigger in this one can i move this no, i wanted to line up with that guy i guess it's even smaller than that move 
there you go until it that circle there meant that it actually lined it up move move grab that one to make it wider can't grab that one hmm guess I'm gonna have to type it so that is two four five okay edit two four five okay I think that makes it bigger on this side so we need to do the same thing on the other side so I'm going to turn off the front turn on the back copper so that will still be wrong move this also to the left move this one to the right okay I think we're done with that so we'll save this and this is Harry Lit 4 okay, close that we need to go back here and I say we need to update the, the parts so go back over here let's do the front silk screen I think we could say edit update parts somehow edit this update footprint from library update all footprints and it's gonna grab it from LED4 okay I'm not moving any text I just reapply it oh did you guys see that move looking pretty good <laughs> this don't line up nice I might have to move this yeah see this this look like it's moved that way yeah I had to rotate this manually by hand and then move them so we might have to do that again again it's not that critical because what is critical is the cutout is what's important you know the fact that this is like you know 0 0.01 wider here than here it's not gonna make or break I'm gonna try to move it even though I might regret this I guess I could always undo so I'm gonna move it a little bit this way like that so you could kind of see that it's kind of centered there let's try this one move that one yeah that looks great save okay so like this doesn't look good but I think we could fix it very easily by just changing the fill yeah, just press B see how we fix that now it's even okay I think we get that and we're gonna show you this 3d thing so we are in KiCad still and KiCad also has a 3d renderer uh, a 3d visualizer that this has been very helpful because you can see, really see where the pads are you can see where the silk screen is you know like I noticed some of these are upside down I'm gonna fix that later because like that's supposed to be di but you gotta read it that way but this one here you can see is di going this way di going this way that one is backward it should go di going this way too but no big deal what's important is are these distances and they're all been fixed so we can move on to the discs <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,